Hey guys, Merry Christmas and welcome to my video. This video is dedicated to uh, a fellow Vogons user uh, who goes by the name of Keropi. Thank you very much for helping me out. Um, and you basically the reason why I was able to do this video, so thank you. So, what is this video all about? Well, if you have an original uh, 386 computer and you're trying to format compact flash drives or hard drives like I showed in the in the past videos, you'll quickly realize that there's a 500 megabyte limit. So you can create several partitions, but 500 megabyte is, is basically uh, the limit of that computer. It's to do with the BIOS. Um, they just didn't uh, envision that hard drives are going to grow as much as they did. But there's a solution. Um, there's a software called DDO or dynamic disk overlay, and there were basically there were two two main uh, products I, c I could I could find out. Uh, one was one is from OnTrack, OnTrack Disk Manager, and that's basically the uh, the main the main product, and that's what I'm gonna use in the video. Um, but there's another one called Easy Drive. Um, uh, the version I've got doesn't support FAT32. It only supports uh, FAT16, so it's not. It's not that uh, useful, so we're going to go with OnTrack. And there are two versions. Uh, we're going to use the version 9.57. The reason is this is the most suitable one for 386. There's a newer version, version 10.46, which comes on two floppy disks. However, I tried running it on my 386 with 8 mega RAM, and it complained that it didn't have enough memory. So it it's I think it's better, more suitable for a 486 with 16 megabytes um, that has a bias that doesn't support large hard drives. Okay, so back to the 386. So, what you need to do first, a couple of steps. Um, so we're going to go with version 9.57. The first step is uh, you have to configure the bias. Now, depending on what bias you've got, um, there are different ways of doing this. For example, I've got a 386 system where you can just auto detect the hard drive and it will pick up the uh, 32 gig uh, copy flash card without any dramas. So if your bias can do that, that's the best way. Um, but what if, you've, what if you have a bias that doesn't support that? Well, uh, you can access the readme file of, of um, Disk Manager by typing in dm slash h and there's a really comprehensive user manual which discusses a few alternatives. Um, and one is, for example, you can just set it to uh, the first hard drive type or just no type at all. And the software will actually configure it for you. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna jump straight into um, formatting and setting up our 32 gig compact flash drive, which is in our 386. You need two things. You need um, a Windows 98 SE boot disk and you need your, um, on track disk manager. So first we're going to just reboot the computer and we're going to go straight into our BIOS and we see a hard drive we just leave that at not installed. Um, another option is you can actually type in all the options so if you have access to another computer you can put that compact flash card into another computer write down all the settings and then type it in. But let's just say you only have one computer um, and you don't have that possibility, so just set it to not installed. Next, I'm going to put in a boot disk. I'm going to use my floppy emulator, so that means I'm just going to set it to the right floppy number. I'm going to go number 4, it's Windows 98 SE. And there we go. We go. And we're just going to boot from that floppy disk. So once again, I just want to explain the difference between uh, FAT and FAT32. Uh, FAT has a partition size limit of 2 gigabytes. So if you have a 2 gigabyte, so for example, if you just want to use a 2 gigabyte flash card, then by all means, you can go with um, FAT. You don't have to use FAT32. But if you've got a, a 4 gig, 8, 16, or 32, and you want to use all the capacity as one drive, you've got to go with FAT32. Okay, so well, there we go. So now we're gonna I'm gonna switch to the on track disk manager floppy. And we're 
go and you type in DM for disk manager and that'll uh, load up the disk manager software. Now I've also found um, when, when OnTrack uh, was around they also bundled their software with hard drives, for example Western Digital or other manufacturers had um, their own versions of OnTrack. Uh, I managed to find an version 8 from Western Digital which would work with all the compact flash cards but didn't support FAT32. Um, it also didn't um, support like a Seagate hard drive. It checks what hard drive you have. Okay, so here we just have to press enter. We go easy installation. You see it, can already, it already picks up there's a 32 gig hard drive despite nothing being set in the bias. So we go yes, FAT32, yes. Yes, we're sure. Now, this bit is gonna take a while, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna fast forward the video. Okay, here we are. So, it's asking now to uh, insert the Windows 98 SE boot disk. So I'm gonna switch over to my uh, floppy number four. So what it does now is basically it'll, it'll make the uh, drive, the compact flash drive, uh, bootable. Okay, so that's all done. So, blah blah blah. Okay, what does it say? Uh, remove the floppy and do reboot. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna see if it works. So just press escape here. Here's our C drive, 30 gig available. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to shut down my computer and I'll pop in the compact flash card into my desktop and we're just we're going to see what what will happen. Okay, so here we are back on my desktop. Um, on the left side, I've just got the normal uh, Explorer on my, on my computer. On the right side, I've got a compact flash uh, backup. That's for my time machine, which has a, a 32 FAT32 system as well. So I'm just going to plug in the compact flash card we just uh, formatted with our track through a USB uh, controller. Sorry, USB memory card reader. And there it is. And this is something I did not expect. Um, when I first looked into uh, dynamic uh, disk overlay software, I assumed that this would not work. However, it does. And what we can now do, we just copy it all over. And once this is done, we're gonna put it back in the 386 and see if it all works. Okay, so that has successfully copied um, over. I just gotta get rid of a few things because actually I have got a Soundplus AW64 in that machine. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I just have to change some things in the auto exec. Also, the convexes. So, that one. And that's it. We're ready to go. I'm just going to eject it. And I'll put it in the 386 and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we are back in the 386. I'm just going to turn it on. Actually, it's going to buy, so let's see what, what it did. So you can see that um, the OnTrack software actually changed the hard drive in the BIOS option. So it picked that one, so we're just going to leave that. And let's see if the machine boots. So we should get our boot menu. There you go. And let's go with EMS, expanded memory. There you go. Yep. Let's do a check disk. All our games are here. So, yep, we can just pick one. Um, let's try Wing Commander. So that's all working fine. Um, 
There you go. There's Wing Commander. I've got PC speaker sound because um, I haven't got the sound sound blaster routed through. Let's get out of this again. And to make sure everything's working, we can do a scan disk. And this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to do a time lapse. But that was it, pretty much. So, how cool is that? 32 gigabyte on a 386. And you can just put this compact flash card in your desktop in a, in a card reader, fill it with games. Really simple, really easy to use. So, I'm actually really, really impressed. Um, I did not expect that you can plug in the drive into uh, card reader and that you can load it with stuff of a fort uh, that you needed a driver to do that but it looks like what the software does is it creates a proper FAT32 um, partition on the compact flash card and then just takes care of the translation between uh, the bias and the and the card so that's it have a good have a good holiday and uh, enjoy Christmas and um, I'll I'll, I'll see you soon because I'm going I'm to do a lot of videos now that I have a few days off.